we invite you to subscribe, like, comment and share. Master Herbert Ngabrijo back again with Jeno Mohoz Kainerugaba who proposes to sanction the United States of America. General Muhoz Kainerugaba, the son of the Ugandan president Yoel Kaguta Museveni Tibuhaburwa and chief of defense forces CDF has questioned the rationale behind the United States imposing sanctions on Ugandan officials while pointing out that Africa has never imposed sanctions on the United States for its alleged involvement in the assassination of African leaders and it came up with an example of Patrice Lumumba from Congo. Mohoz expressed his frustration by stating that Africa has never sanctioned the United States officials who were involved in the cold blooded murder of African leaders like Patrice Lumumba has I said before. Therefore, if they continue sanctioning Africans, they will sanction them too. This borrowed statement comes on the heels of another controversial tweet last week in which General Mohoz Kainrugawa demanded an apology from the United States Ambassador to Uganda, William Pope. Mohoz Kainrugawa accused the United States Ambassador of disrespecting both President Yoel Kaguta Museveni, his father, and himself as a general, thus granting the diplomat 72 hours ultimatum to apologize, which he didn't do. Mohoz further suggested that the ambassador should leave Uganda if he failed to apologize. However, the tweet was removed before the deadline expired. According to the sources, the president has since summoned Ambassador William Pope for a meeting with General Mohoz Kainerugaba, who is expected to attend the meeting. The agenda of the meeting remains undisclosed, but many people in Uganda speculate or see it as aiming at addressing the growing tensions between the Uganda government and the United States government. However, General Mohoz Kainerugaba's frequent and unfiltered social media posts have become a hallmark of his public image, regularly starring both domestic and international debate. General Mohoz Kainerugaba's outspoken nature, most especially on sensitive diplomatic issues, has raised concerns among Uganda's political figures and the citizens alike. Various persons are criticizing his comments because they consider them risking unnecessary conflicts with powerful nations like the United States of America, which could have lasting repercussions on Uganda's foreign relations. Therefore, as diplomatic tensions arise, political observers and diplomats are closely watching the upcoming meeting between the President Mohoz as the Chief of Defense Forces and William Pope, the United States Ambassador in Uganda. And its outcome is expected to significantly influence Uganda's relationship with the United States, though 
some people believe that Jeno Mho's kind of government's fearless confrontational approach could lead to further complications in Uganda's international standing. However, Jeno Mho's kind of government's remarks have caused fresh debate about Uganda's diplomatic strategy and many are waiting to see if the Uganda government will find measures to manage the escalating tensions. But Jeno Mohose is sticking on his proposal to sanction America if they continue with that policy of sanctioning Ugandan officials. Trendsite Media YouTube channel. We encourage you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. In Uganda, we say subscribing, liking, commenting, etera, beranga, or sharing. But that is Geno Mohose's suggestion. Mm, for him, he believes that if America used to sanctions to sanction Africans, why not Africans sanction America too? Mm. Because we have been seeing America sanctioning Ugandan officials for some reasons, but this time round, the general, the chief of staff in Uganda, Ame, has said it clearly that we are tired of America to intervene in our politics and if they don't stop we have to do something different something unique and that is sanctioning America too but I don't know how the general will manage to sanction America because we used to get aid from America mm, America is a superpower is a big country and above all it is the leader of all nations in this world you know america they work hand in hand with the united kingdom and those were considered to be our colonizers but if you annoy america or if you have a bad relationship with them even you can't be with a good relationship with the united kingdom and other countries like german france mm, the allies there's no way how you can relate with them the only way is to relate with people over with other governments like in russia Mm, with, with Vladimir Putin mm, like North Korea that young man or with China mm, but those countries are not enough to help Uganda to stand but if it is the general's decision maybe it can work we shall just wait and see how things will be moving because for him he is in the government and knows well what is really there in the government's treasury or how they can manage to handle that issue. Mm, America, mm, we are hearing uh, about General Mohos Kanarugaba's remarks. Mm, what you have to do? Hey, you can say that no. Let us help these people, not to sanction them anymore. But sometimes what I hear, they use to sanction officials because of corruption issues, sometimes uh, human rights cases, mm, things in that nature. Mm, also, what we have to do as Ugandans, we have to change the way we behave or how the way we treat others. And it is very important to know where your weaknesses are 
and then you can move forward with others in this Trendsite Media YouTube channel. Never forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. You can only say bye-bye.